Oh, yeah. Pichon, baby. Pichon. Forty-six, forty-five, forty-five. <laughs> See you, mate. <laughs> well, g'day, folks, and welcome to another video. Um, in this video, we're going to head to Lake Tyres to chase a uh, big flathead. Um, there's a lot of smoke down there still, and tomorrow and I think Tuesday, Wednesday is meant to be pretty bad. Um, yeah, mostly using soft plastics. Um, all different sizes, we'll see what they want, see what colours, uh, whether it's natural or fluoro. Um, we're going to be keeping a close eye on the fire danger with the uh, Vic Emergency app. Um, and we've selected our area where we are with a 100k radius, so any alert, any warning uh, will come up straight away. And then uh, if we need to get out, we can uh, get out straight away. Um, the bushfires are all still burning. Um, it's um, it's an advice at the moment for lake tyres, so it's more of a north uh, west northerly direction and northeast around Omeo um, that's uh, burning pretty bad at the moment. And of course, the uh, temperatures and the wind directions uh, contribute to all of that. Um, thank you once again to all our emergency services. Um, you're doing a fantastic job. Uh, all of you, please stay safe and. Um, yeah, hope these fires get uh, put out soon. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a long, uh, a long uh, battle, but um, yeah, hopefully with a bit of luck and um, we can get some heavy, heavy rain and the uh, bushfires can be put out and uh, yeah, we can start to rebuild. Um, please make a donation if you haven't. There's lots of different causes, uh, lots of different organisations that um, are taking money and goods. Uh, so just search for those. Um, everything helps, um, including wildlife. Farmers need to rebuild um, a lot of a lot of um, farming cattle and uh, other livestock that have been lost um, throughout the last couple of weeks, uh, and wildlife as well. It's uh, catastrophic, really. Um, so yeah, please donate if you can. So we're going to head down in the morning. I'm uh, going down on my own. I'm meeting Pete and Dave at the boat ramp, and then we're going to head out and try and catch a flathead. So. Glad to get out, uh, a bit nervous, but um, it should be fun and um, hopefully the smoke's not too bad. Um, so yeah, we'll see you in the morning and when we're heading down and meet you at, uh, at the ramp with uh, Pete and Dave. Tight lines, thanks again, hit the subscribe and uh, give us a like so as I know that you're enjoying the videos and I'll catch you soon, thank you. Hello folks, I am approximately gone through lakes entrance and I'm approaching the lake tires turn off, turn off in a few kilometers. <clears throat> There's a lot of smoke. Um, just came through lakes entrance, a lot of emergency services and um, a lot of police, uh, public order units um, all just congregating on the side of the road. So when I get to the ramp, I'll check the uh, big emergency app again, just to get updated. The phone hasn't gone off with any new updates, so so with the big app, you uh, the emergency app, you can set your zone. So I've got a zone at home, and I've got a zone here at Lake Tyres with a hundred kilometre radius. So that informs me of any warnings uh, that may be in the area within that hundred k. Plenty of time to get out and uh, back to back to a safe zone. So if you don't have it, download it from the App Store, Play Store, or the Apple Store. Turn right onto Lake Tyres Beach Road. Turning right onto Lake Tyres Beach Road now. Continue on Lake Tyres Beach Road for five kilometres. So I'll see you and have a chat when we get to the ramp. See you soon. 
I've just um, arrived at the boat ramp, main boat ramp in Lake Tyres. Just waiting for Pete and Dave to turn up with their boat. They shouldn't be too far off. Um, it's a bit of a weird feeling. Um, I'm excited to be back at Tyres to start off with, but yeah, it's a bit, still have that, you know, worrying, uh, you know, just check the app again. There's a fire burning uh, by Tamboon Inlet, which is an emergency warning, which is just east of the inlet. Um, that's telling people to get out now. Um, I mean, that's, that's you know, a couple of hours drive from here, so by Can River, so it's miles away. But um, yeah, it just makes you feel a little bit uneasy about everything and uh, and where you are, you know, you're driving into the bush and yeah. Um, yeah, so I'll keep a close eye on the app today and um, yeah, hopefully early notifications come through if something does happen or we need to put the boat on the trailer and get out of here. Hopefully it comes in early. But, you know, I've checked the winds. Winds are low. They're okay direction. So, you know, we should be fine. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed that uh, no new fires appear and uh, we can have a good day on the water. So I'll check back in when uh, Pistol and Dave are here. Catch you soon. All right, so we're off and running. Pistol Pete and Dave up front, and I'm on my own today. Very hazy. Uh, it's same as same thing with the GoPro. It's not as light as what the GoPro has shown, but I've got a I've got the map on there, so we can follow the markers, and uh, yeah, should be right. Fingers crossed anyway. <laughs> the ramp right there. The little smoky lake tires at the moment. Blood red moon above Pete's boat there on the just a bit to the left of Pete's boat. And I believe Pete and Dave are heading to buy the glass house. Um, it's a well-known area where the channel kind of comes into the inlet um, and I'm going to head out to a little bay that I know and I've caught an 88 centimetre there and I've caught quite a few flathead there as well as Brim, Snapper and Trevelli. So I'm going to head out and fish there and then we'll probably meet up again a bit later on and try um, Try up river a little bit more. Just uh, caught a few flattered there last time with Burry. He got his PB, so I've got a few spots marked there. We can go and give them a go as well. But see you when we get to the first location. Please subscribe and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks again. Good morning. <laughs> I'll try. Just moved up river. Just gonna fish a couple of these little bays that go off the uh, river, like this one. Drops down to about three and a half meters where we are, and I'm guessing it's shallows around this structure as well. So real smoky. Sun up over the trees. Real smoky. Hard times. Got one fish. Don't know whether it made the video, but um. 43 centimeters. Something new. Opening night scented paddle tail. It's a uh, paddlers.
We shan't. Little one. Oh, little Lizzie. Little Lizzie. Right, the top bit. Oh, jeez. There you go, that is a good one. There you go, swap to that natural colour, three casts later, ba boom. Right. Here's a uh, forty-six, forty-five, forty-five. <laughs> See you, mate. <laughs> yeah, he's gone on the board. Hasn't chafed up my leader. Always check your leader after every flooded. Give us a bloody. We caught two here last time. Come on, stay on. Just easy, Tiger. All right, let's put that flatty back. See if he's got a mate there. Let him 
hinein. Another one. Another little flatfish. Not the same one. No way. There you go, two in a row. Thank you, buddy. There he is. That's a dusky flathead, so. There he is, probably only 40, 41. So what they do is they lie in wait. They, they dig themselves in the sand to here, where the white is. And a lot of bait fish get around that snag over there. So there's a bit of a drop off and they're just sitting, um, waiting, facing that way. Bait fish comes off and then they just swim up, bang, grab it. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, mate. Hey, no Another three. Buddy. Yep. All mid 40s. All of them. Ah, here? Oh, yeah. uh, here. I've just had two in a row here, and then and then a couple further up. up yeah. No, further up that way. I haven't been any further. No. I just had two and two casts here. Make that three. That's three and five casts. I caught him here last time. That snag's perfect because it holds a lot of bait fish. The snag holds a lot of bait fish and then it drops off. So the flatties just sit under that tree. Here he goes. <laughs> Just add a couple. Just add a brim. You're kidding. On on one of those four inch things. Oh, if you if you yeah, if you pick the shady side and cast like a deep diving hard body little one, like a savage gear, all these snags, you'll get them. Because that's what they do, they're in, un in under there. Yeah. You could get perch, brim, flathead still. Yeah. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> 